is happening, people. It's another weekend upon us. We made it through another week, y'all. You know, with that said, y'all, just stay focused. You know, stick to the screw up heat game. Read between the lines. Keep a backup plan for the backup plan. My ladies, please, I beg of you, please, leave these bum type buses alone, straight up. They no good for you. I'm tired of y'all. I'm just tired of y'all messing with these bum type busters, for real. I'm talking about these dudes who don't handle no business, who don't prioritize family, and who don't prioritize their homes, their households, y'all, who can't take care of business, who don't wear pants, they wear skirts. I'm tired of y'all messing with these dudes, talking about they alpha men, because they got, you know, love physique, or they talk the talk, but don't got no no bite with the ball. You know, they don't walk no business, they don't do nothing, they don't provide no value to your life, they don't add nothing positive to your life, can't take care of nothing. You know, that ain't no, that's a, that's a, that's a boy. Straight up, leave them alone. Get y'all a real one. Get y'all some real men. Plenty of us out here, for real. Anyway, with that said, y'all, I want to shout out my sisters, both of them, right? Well, I got three of them, but two of them just launched their uh, uh, clothing businesses uh, this uh, past week, right? Uh, y'all already know I've been I've been shouting out uh, CEO Sharita with you know Pink Harmony Shop, uh, her Pink Harmony Shop business. You can follow her at. Uh, uh, pink underscore harmony underscore boutique on Instagram. You can follow her. You get on her website at www. Uh, pinkharmonyshop.com. Go shop with her, ladies. She got some beautiful stuff for you. I told y'all. Um, and I also have CEO Lyric. It's my other sister who got her uh, clothing brand. She pushing fit weight. You understand? And she got stuff for men and women. Y'all go check her out. Um, and uh. Lyric Fitway on Facebook and, and on IG. She got some stuff for y'all. Hit her up. Anyway, with that said, y'all, we gotta we gotta always make sure we promote our families. You uh, know, no matter what, right? Always push our families and people closest to us. No matter what, I do it for free. You know, because I tell people I'm self reliant. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna be straight regardless. I don't depend on nobody else to make me money. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a solo entrepreneur. And I'm always keep pushing regardless. Uh, I got a million things I be on. I be I be on. I be my mind constantly groaning, roaming. And I'm gonna always make sure, you know, I got my ducks in a row, and I got a uh, my, you know, my um, eyes dotted and my T's crossed. And that's how we gotta move, y'all. If it don't make dollars, it don't make no sense. Straight up, that's that DJ Quick for you right there. You know, um, you know, if it don't make no sense, it don't make no sense. I don't I, I don't get it why people try to make sense out of stuff. It don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, y'all. But anyway, um, I am in a beautiful, beautiful state of Iowa. That's how that Trump. That's how Trump said, y'all, Iowa. And I would like to thank the people of Iowa. Long period of time, and most importantly, we want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. What a turnout! What a. You know how you always be uh talking about Iowa, Iowa. Iowa, Iowa. Trump always talking about how uh, the people of Iowa always support them. Iowa, man. But anyway, y'all, I went and checked out that movie, uh, Civil War, yesterday. You know, uh, last night, rather. And uh, it was a good movie overall. I give it a six point five, maybe a seven, uh, on a scale of one through ten. Um, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be, but it was okay. I mean, it showed. Uh, you know the division of the United States in it, and the uh, effects of all this clashing that's going on that might lead to an escalation to a, a, a conflict with the people, y'all. Uh, it reminded us of the January 6th Capitol riot that took place. That can be, it can also happen again, y'all. Uh, so it was a good movie. It was realistic, um, and uh, this came after the other movie, Leave the World Behind, and. Uh, that was also a good movie too. It's funny how the government, or we get these movies right now. I'm not gonna say the government pushing this agenda, but it's funny how we get these movies on our big screens now. You know, like these are like warning signs for us to get right. That's why I always say keep a backup plan and keep a, a contingency plan, y'all. Stay focused and you know, get yourself together. We don't got no time to play around, get your money and invest it wisely. I've been, all, I've been across the country, y'all, looking at land. And I'm talking about dirt cheap land. Unbelievable. I'm talking about, uh, I came across this this one parcel land. Um, it was like a, 
was about 30 acres and they wanted, uh, well, it was 40 acres. And it reminded me of the 40 acres of the mule that we were promised back in the day, right? That we never got. And um, that's a whole other subject, y'all. But um, they wanted uh, 30 grand for this, you know? And it's, it's, it's like, man, I'm like, and I've been just, you know, doing my research and calling around, doing homework and stuff like that. I'm like, man, the land cheap out here, man. You know, um, so definitely get y'all some land. If you don't have any already, they snatch your land up. I'm talking about, when I say they, the government, I'm talking about corporations, wealthy people, people snatching land up by the acres. I'm talking about by the hundreds of acres, y'all. There's just plenty of land out here. The country's very big. Um, everybody get income tax refunds. Everybody, well, when I say everybody, I'm talking about a lot of people, especially people who live below the poverty line, who get these big refunds every tax season. And the first thing many of us do, and I'm not trying to bash nobody or talk bad about nobody or make people feel crazy or uncomfortable, but we gotta stop just spending money on things that don't make us no money. Things that don't hold no value, right? We gotta continue to just, uh, you know, keep our eyes open and invest wisely, y'all. It's getting hard out here. Get you some land. Uh, learn how to grow, you know, uh, you know, grow crops and stuff like that. And, I don't, and you don't gotta do that. I know everybody not interested in land, but I think land is a great investment. It's a, a value retainer. You know, land's always gonna be very important. Um, gold, if you don't invest in gold, y'all, the price of gold was, uh, last time I checked, was roughly $2,400 an ounce. And that is crazy, y'all, how uh, undervalued gold is right now, because really gold is worth way more than that. But uh, there's reasons why things are in place right now, but it's on the rise, which means the dollar is on the decline. So uh, invest responsibly, y'all. Uh, I do the S&P 500 investing, for my investors, I still think that's a good way to go, but I won't throw so much money at it these days, especially like for those of y'all who don't know a thing about investing in the markets. Uh, don't go crazy with your, uh, uh, you know, right now because you got extra money or you hearing me say this or you hear people say that about investing. Don't go crazy about it. It's always with everything, be responsible. Now, uh, yesterday I, you know, talked to somebody about, um, Invested, and then we're talking about uh, investing in uh, I think it was metals, and um, I thought, and it was a great conversation we had, uh, and I got to do some more research about that because what I know about metals is that they are really value uh, investments, like they're just well preservation investments, and I'm talking about silver, gold, uh, palladium, um, platinum, and things like that. But uh, this person was sharing with me. Uh, other types of metals that you can start investing in and um you know starting a business investing in metals purchasing metals and then selling metals overseas and i gotta look into that if anybody know anything about that hit me up about it i am interested i'm always ears open to anything that sound like it makes sense because i'm all about making sense right so let's make some sense out of some sense <laughs> for real but anyway uh y'all look um, just be a, a, a overcomer, y'all. Be a thinker. Use your brain. You know, put it to work sometimes. When you feeling down, when you feeling lowly, when you feeling like you don't have leverage, that's the perfect time right there to strategize and go to the drum board and try to figure out something. I'm telling you. I mean, I can remember like just years ago, looking back, having like hardly anything to to um you know, it's assets wise. And I'm like, it was so easy to get assets once upon a time. I remember uh, with the mobile homes, y'all. Um, with the mobile home, I remember, I remember when they were like $5,000 for a, a mobile home in fair condition, a nice single buy. And I remember um, I had actually purchased one and I sold it, which I kind of regret. I wish I would have, you know, stayed in the trailer game and, you know, renting them out. But them same trailers that, uh, and I got that one for 10,000 back in the day. Uh, that same mobile home I had, this was like 10 years ago. Right now, today, that same type of mobile home you can get in the same condition. And I told you I got it for 10 grand back then. You can get that same mobile home for about 30 grand at the cheapest, you know, maybe 25 or something like that. It's crazy how things just skyrocketed that, that, just that fast. Um, you know, lot rent and stuff like that in the states in the south, especially Georgia, where I'm from. 
and a lot of other places, man, they don't jumped up from what they was like quadruple, you know. And um, we all know energy bills doing the same thing. So y'all be conservative, how y'all, you know, you know, use your energy. It's just too much. Uh, everything is going up, so you gotta be smart out here. Um, so when you get extra money, invest that money. That's the first thing that should be on your mind is invest. How do I make this money? Maybe some more money. You know, you gotta put them dollars to work, y'all. You gotta put them. You, you gotta put them to work like they're your militia, so they can go out there on the field and make more money for you while you sleep and while you do what else you gotta do. You always wanna have something going on behind the scenes, right? And um. I got a turn. So right now, anyway, I'm about to head down south. I'm picking up this load from a shipper out here in the great state of Iowa. And um, so while I'm down south, y'all, um, I'm probably gonna, you know, link up with my families down there who in the south. And um, cause I've been on the road for like a month, uh, a month strong now. Uh, with no breaks, and I'm, it's got, I got one more month to go before I really take a break. But uh, I'm trying to get it, y'all. Uh, this year, 2024, is a crazy one. Like I tell you, it's gonna be two tight. It's gonna be two parts of this year. It's gonna be the first half, which is like the calm before the whatever, the storm or whatever, and then the other half, which is gonna be hyped up uh, propaganda and you know people might be on panic spending and panic buying. So get everything you need to get right now. Get your homes in order. My truckers, you know, y'all keep trucking, y'all stay focused. Um, my new jacks think about getting in the trucking game. Uh, be strategic, y'all link up with some veterans uh, and be strategic. Like, get you some company jobs, learn the game, give yourself, give yourself some time to grow, get some experience, save your money. You know, be wise, don't be no fool. Uh, the interest rate, the interest rates will keep going up um, because of the. Uh, Inflation that's, that's happening out here, y'all. And, and we already know, um, and we already know, um, it's going to keep getting worse. So we need to be uh, mindful of that. I've been hearing people talking about getting loans, using it for investing, and all kind of little stuff. That's not a good decision right now because interest rates too high. If you don't have money to pay them loans back, if or you know, knock that interest all the way down and pay the loan, damn near out. Don't mess with it for real. Most people cannot play with debt. Appropriately, and I don't advise anybody to play with any debt right now. Anyway, y'all, that's enough said. I'm about to tear the hill. Let y'all enjoy some of this beautiful road in front of me. Anyway, that's that. <laughs>